Ukraine war, Kyiv claims major gains as Russia exits Kherson. The Ukrainian army says it has made major gains over the last day around Kherson, after Russia said it was withdrawing from the southern city. Ukrainian troops say they have taken back the key town of Snihuivka, 50 kilometers 30 miles, to the north of Kherson. Kyiv has also claimed big pushes on two fronts near Kherson, including advances of 7 kilometers in some places. Russia says it has started to exit the city its top gain in the invasion, but the process could take weeks. Wednesday's announcement was viewed as a major setback for Moscow's war effort, though Ukrainian officials were skeptical warning that the maneuver could be a trap. Ukraine's commander-in-chief Valery Zaluzny said on Thursday that he could not confirm or deny the pullout, but said his own forces had made important advances. Gen Zaluzny said his soldiers had driven forward on two fronts on the western bank of the Dnipro River an area of land which encompasses Kherson taking control of 12 settlements. The 7 kilometers gains were made during the past day, he said, as troops advanced along a northern-eastern axis and a separate western axis. Video footage showed soldiers being greeted by locals in a square, apparently after entering the town of Snihuivka. Snihuivka sits at a major road junction and is a rail hub for Mykolaiv region, which borders Kherson to the north and west. The regional administration in Mykolaiv posted on the Telegram messaging app touting lots of good news today. It fueled speculation on Thursday night that Ukrainian troops had reached the outskirts of Kherson itself, after cryptically posting a single letter minus Shin Ukrainian. This was taken as a possible clue that troops had reached the suburban village of Kornabayevka. It was not possible for the BBC to independently verify the details of the latest territorial gains and losses, but the reports come after weeks of steady advances from the Ukrainian military. Kherson was the first and only regional capital to fall into Russian hands after it invaded Ukraine on 24 February. From late September, it was viewed by the Kremlin as Russian territory, following so-called referendums in occupied areas of Ukraine that were widely discredited by the international community. On Wednesday, Moscow said it was no longer possible to supply the city, saying it would step back from the western bank of the Dnipro River, which bisects Ukraine. Notably, Russian President Vladimir Putin did not take part in the televised announcement. Ukraine's Gen Zaluzny said Russia was left with no option but to flee, after its supply lines were destroyed and its command systems disrupted. Later on Thursday, Ukraine's defense minister said it would take Russia at least a week to withdraw and that it was not easy to predict the actions of his enemy. Jen Stoltenberg, the chief of the NATO military alliance of Western nations, said it was clear Russia was under heavy pressure, but that it was important to see how the situation on the ground develops. The UK defense secretary said Russia appeared to be setting up a defensive line on the other side of the Dnipro River using concrete installations. A Ukrainian presidential adviser said it was too early to celebrate accusing his enemy of wanting to turn Kherson into a city of death by leaving mines and plotting to shell it from afar. That could add to the casualty count of a war, which has already killed or injured 100,000 soldiers on each side and 40,000 civilians, according to the latest estimate from a senior U.S. general. Separately, the U.S. has announced another $400, M-pound 341 meters, military aid package for Ukraine, including Avenger air defense systems and Hawk missiles. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier said he had also discussed defense support from the U.K. with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak.